draw pictures of La La Loopsy. And uh, my name is Josephine. Well, I like drawing and stuff and crafting. But I get lots of ideas to do after school when I get home. Sometimes I lie down and, and draw while and mommy lays next to me and colors my pictures. I'm Jason Taylor, father of Josephine. Um, I'm Colleen Taylor, mother of Josephine. Yeah, I think for Josephine, she would always watch a new film. She doesn't watch a lot of television, but she watches a lot of films. and. She just gets ideas straight away. She sometimes will take a character that she has seen in a film and create a new story around that um, character or set of characters. So she has seen all of the Tinkerbell films. It's one of her favorite genres. But then she creates whole new stories for the fairies and, and then draws those stories as well. So I think she finds inspiration from lots of different things. If all of the, um, all of the ones that we have on the website, and she has a selection of 16 for sale <laughs> through an online art gallery, <laughs> and they're a variety of all different characters, some from rabbits, lalaloopsy characters, mermaids, <laughs> a whole variety <laughs> oh, of different goodness, things. Yes, so yes, yes. There yes. seems to be... Yeah, 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 you're right. Well, Josephine, she has a she started really being drawing prolifically in Phoenix Children's Hospital, which was Christmas 2013. She was in there for six nights. Uh, we were just here on vacation from the UK, and she has a permanently dislocated thumb on her right hand, and until that point she was just holding a pen in a fist grip, and she worked out how to hold a pen like you or I would. and. She started drawing in hospital, there was nothing else for her to do, she couldn't eat, she was just bedridden and uh, she had a couple of tubes in her and uh, it, it would be rough for any kid and uh, <laughs> it was a definite uh, relief for her to be able to do that and create these images and become absorbed in it so and, and that was nice for us and then we, re we saw the quality of what she was doing and that took us aback a little and what we're trying to do is we're trying to set up a not-for-profit organization to cover Josephine's health care in the States. Um, her long-term prognosis is potentially excellent. The, the goal is to uh, really get the following up so that we can pitch for either crowdfunding or an investor. We want to license the images and the, we do want to cover Josephine's health care but the ultimate goal is to bring other children in, either through young people who've got real talent for art or uh, other kids who have problems. So that's, that's the long-term goal, but we do, need, we do need followers. That has been a good move. She's got much more of a childhood here than she had for that first five years in the UK. So it's kind of an inspirational story, and we, um, coupled with the art, we thought that if we can share it and uh, help other people that would be that would be even better so that's that's the long-term goal.